unfortunately, just from uh, daily driving this thing, we're already having a couple of small issues. Um, the check engine light keeps coming on from clogged catalytic converters. They're getting uh, below the efficiency threshold. So we will definitely be uh, doing a cat delete here shortly. This thing is so quiet, it hurts. So we'll be doing a cat delete and getting that rumble to match that supercharger whine. Um, we got a tire pressure sensor light on. Uh, the tire, when it's cold, I don't know if it's a bad sensor or what, but whenever I first start driving, it says it's at like 23 PSI. And as soon as the tires warm up, it goes up to about 26, 27. So I should probably go around and check all the tires, but got that light on for a minute, that'll go away. But the biggest thing is my heads up display, which usually sits right there, died on me. So it's a pretty common issue on these C6 Corvettes to have the uh, heads up display go out. They, uh, the heads up display at first ended up falling down and so I could use the little motor buttons to bring it back up, but it wasn't going up as high as it usually did. And it was shaking really bad over every bump. And then it completely shut off or fell down. So here in the next couple of videos, we'll be pulling the dash apart, pulling the heads up display out and fixing whatever needs to be fixed. Assessing the, the situation, and seeing what broke on it and see what we can fix. So we'll be doing that in the next video. Um, hopefully we'll be doing a cat delete. I don't think we'll be doing uh, headers for a hot minute, but we got a lot of plans for this car and a lot of big things coming. And the tire pressure lights off. As you can see, she's super dirty from being daily for about a week with no wash. So we're gonna wash her up. We still got that number on the window from when we went racing and it's pretty dirty. So we're gonna give her a wash and get back with you. Remember to hook that back in place so the next person doesn't hit it. Alright, so while we're on our way over to a little park to go take some videos with a drone, um, I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on what's going on with the channel. Um, John is still in Florida. Any of our first subscribers remember the It's Two Bros performance, it's me and it's John. He should be dropping a video here shortly on his 2015 5.0 Mustang. Um, 
we've been trying to get together, but I was actually gonna move out there in January and just life circumstances haven't really made it possible yet, but we're still working on it and it will be happening in the future. Um, so John should be dropping a video soon. He's gonna be doing a couple of mods to his car that are pretty exciting, honestly. They're aesthetic mods, but they just complete the car in my opinion. Um, so the channel so far, we've got a 2015 5.0 Mustang. We've got my 2006 uh, C6 supercharged Camaro, er, Corvette. Um, I also have Project Grey Matter, my LS Swap 1973 Volkswagen Super Beetle. And uh, we've got my 2002 single cab short bed uh, GMC Sierra. That is going to be getting some mods here soon too. So we got quite a bit going on. Um, as far as plans go, uh, the, the Mustang will be supercharged here in the near future. Um, the Corvette is going to get a cam and valve springs, a full exhaust, a pulley swap and a retune. And that should bring us up to hopefully around 600 wheel horse is what I'm hoping for that. Um, Project Grey Matter, I got my first start in. I'll uh, throw that in right now. So that was pretty cool. Um, the bug fired up. Uh, my fuel pump was dead on arrival, unfortunately. It was seized up, so I pulled it apart and broke it loose and then it wouldn't build any fuel pressure, so I had to order a new pump and wait on it. Just got in, the car runs awesome now, so now we just need steering, brakes, a seat, driveline, floor, and a couple other little things to tidy up, we can drive up and down the road. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'm super excited about that. Um, so actually, I got uh, a fuel pump, springs, and injectors for my truck, and for my birthday, which was a few days ago, my beautiful fiance, got me a cam for my truck. She got me the means to get a cam. So the only reason I don't have a cam yet is because I'm still trying to decide on what cam to get, which is the age old question. It's a 4.8, which means it's not gonna pick up crazy power with a cam, but it will be getting turboed down the road. So we're super excited about that one. So once we turbo it, I need to get a cam that'll be good NA right now. And then once I turbo it, it'll excel at that. So we're still working on that, but we should be getting a cam here shortly. Um, and then I'll be making some installation videos on that and going through the whole process. I'm super excited. So we got big plans for all the cars. We just made it to the park that we're going to be taking uh, some drone footage at. It's a little bit breezy today, so we'll see how it goes. But I'm also going to uh, take some interior videos for you guys so you can see it. And yeah, let's get with it.
you guys so much for watching today's video. Uh, we got a lot of big things coming to the channel, a lot of big things coming to each project car, and I'm really excited, and I hope you guys are excited to come along with us and enjoy the ride. Um, the weather has been cooperating, but I finally got a new laptop, and the weather's better, so me and John are going to be uploading a bunch of videos and get a lot more content out and being a lot more consistent and steady with our content. Hope you guys like it. If you do, please feel free to like, comment, subscribe, let us know what you think in the comments, what you would like us to change. Uh, we're always looking for a little bit of advice to help us bring you guys the best content that we possibly can. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next one. Deuces!